At noon, ship A is 30 nautical miles due west of ship B. So if this is ship A and this is ship B, the distance between the two ships would be 30 miles. Next, ship A is sailing west at 16 knots. So ship A is sailing in this direction and ship B is sailing north at 15 knots, so ship B is sailing in this direction. How fast in knots is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? Well, first thing to notice is from noon to 4 p.m. would be four hours, and therefore for this problem, T time equals four hours. Now going back to our diagram, let's let this length here be equal to x miles, this length here be equal to y miles, and the length between the two ships, s miles. Now let's begin to list the given information. Because ship A is sailing west at 16 knots, x is changing at that rate, and therefore dx dt is equal to 16 knots, And because ship B is sailing north at 15 knots, dy dt would be 15 knots. And because we're trying to find how fast the distance is changing between the two ships, we're looking for ds dt. To find ds dt, we need an equation that relates s, x, and y which we can then differentiate to find ds dt. And because we have a right triangle here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to form our equation. s squared must equal x squared plus y squared. Before we differentiate this with respect to t though, let's determine some more information. Let's find x, y, and s when t equals four. When t equals four, x would be equal to this distance here, which would be 30 miles or 30, plus the rate of change times the time. And because dx dt equals 16 knots, this length would be 30 plus 16 knots times the time of four hours, which is equal to 94 miles. Y would be equal to the rate of change times four hours, which would be 15 times four, or 60 miles. But let's also find the length of s when x equals 94 and y equals 60. So s squared would be equal to 94 squared plus 60 squared. And we know s has to be positive, so now if we take the square root of both sides of the equation, we would have s equals the square root of 94 squared plus 60 squared which would be the square root of 12,436, which would be approximately 111.52 miles. Now that we have all the information we need, let's find the derivative of this equation here with respect to t on the next slide. So we'd have the derivative of s squared with respect to t must equal the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to t. So that would be 2s times ds dt equals 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt. Notice we can divide both sides by two. That would give us s times ds dt equals x times dx dt plus y times dy dt. And now we'll divide both sides by s to solve for ds dt. So we have ds dt equals x times dx dt plus y times dy dt divided by s. Now that we have this equation here for ds dt, we can perform substitutions for x, y, s, and dx dt and dy dt to find ds dt. So when t equals four, ds dt 
it's going to be equal to x, which is 94, times dx dt, which is 16, plus y, which is 60, times dy dt, which is 15, divided by s, we'll use the exact value here of the square root of 12,436. Let's continue on the next slide. This comes out to 2,404 divided by the square root of 12,436, and this would be knots. Let's get our decimal approximation for this. The SDT would be approximately, we can see here it would be approximately 21.56 knots. So we can say at 4 p.m., the distance between the ships is changing at a rate of approximately 21.56 knots. I hope you found this explanation helpful.